Once upon a time, there were a hundred million people. They had different interests, different beliefs, different occupations, but for the most part, they got along pretty well. Then one day, a gang of a few hundred people showed up. Um, need to zoom in some more to see them. I know they're there somewhere. Zoom in. There, there they are. And this gang of a few hundred said to the throng of a hundred million, from now on, you all have to give us a cut of everything you earn. This is an accurate graphical comparison between the number of American taxpayers and the number of U.S. congressmen. And the throng said, gosh, do we have to give you a cut of what we earn? And the gang of a few hundred said, yes, you have to. And the throng said, well, okay, I guess we have to. And one little troublemaker asked, what if we don't? The gang of a few hundred didn't like this and said, If you do not comply, we shall unleash upon you our legions of enforcers. And the throng cried, Oh no, please don't. We will comply. We will pay. This is an accurate graphical comparison between the number of American taxpayers and the total number of IRS employees. Time went by and the gang of a few hundred said, now we want more of what you earn. And this kept happening over and over again until eventually some of the throng were paying almost half of what they earned to the gang. Whenever the gang demanded more, the throng would say, golly, we're already having a tough time. Do we really need to give you even more? And the gang always said, yes, you must, or we shall unleash our legion of enforcers. Now the gang of a few hundred was getting trillions of dollars every year, spending it on wars and pyramid schemes, giving away goodies to their friends, buying influence, and doing lots of other things. And some of the throngs started saying, we don't really like the war you're waging with the money we give you. Do we really have to be paying for that? And the gang said, yes, we demand it. Don't make us send out our legion of enforcers. And some of the throng said, you're taking our money and giving it to huge corporations and giant banks and some people who just don't want to work. A lot of these things we don't like. And the gang said, we don't care. We will decide how to spend it. You just do as you're told or else. And the throng said, okay, I guess we have to. But eventually the throng got so fed up, so angry that they took a drastic step. One day, they said to the gang, We don't like what you're doing. We want a new gang. And after pouring a huge amount of time and money into the effort, they replaced the gang with a new gang. Then the throng pleaded with the new gang, Now, at long last, can we keep our own money? Or at least keep more of it? And the new gang said, Sorry, but after much discussion, we've decided that you can't. You have to keep giving us what you've been giving, in fact, a little bit more than before. The throng was distraught and said, this is dreadful. But after all, what choice do we have? I mean, they say we must comply, and they have that scary legion of enforcers. We're powerless against them. We'd better just do as we're told. So they did as they were told, got poorer and poorer, and lived miserably ever after. But after all, what else could they have done? What power could this throng possibly have compared to this gang of a few hundred and their enforcers? What chance would this thing have against this thing? How could these hundred million people ever hope to successfully resist the awesome power of this tiny little dot. In case anyone missed this, let's review. Here's them. Here are their enforcers. Here's us. Them. Us. Them. Us. Does anything about this seem just a little strange to you? Are you perhaps wondering, why does the throng need the permission of the dot to do anything. Why do these people feel the need to ask this tiny little dot if they can keep more of what they earn? Why would they spend year after year literally begging for lower taxes from this little dot? 
Is this dot just really darn intimidating? Is it very persuasive in its reasoning? To be blunt, why would this throng give a rodent's backside what this tiny little dot wanted? The fact that this tiny dot has the gall to issue such demands to such a throng is pretty startling in and of itself. But what is far more amazing is that the throng obeys this minuscule little parasitic gang of control freaks. What could possibly explain this? Let's ask the dot. Uh, this is how it works. When we, the dot, take your money and spend it on things you don't like, we're representing you. In fact, though you're not allowed to actually keep your own money, you're allowed to decide which little dot will steal half of what you earn. So that really means that you're in charge and that you're agreeing to give us your money. In fact, we, the dot, are serving you when we take your money and spend it on things you don't like. And so you should thank us and treat us with great respect and honor for having robbed you on your behalf for your own good in order to serve you by doing things you don't want us to do. So there you have it. I hope that cleared everything up for you. If you're not entirely satisfied with the dot's explanation of things, you really should read the book The Most Dangerous Superstition, available now at Amazon.com.